What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Sport Universe Reacts. Look where we are. We're back in my room. How do you guys feel? Excited? All right. So what I want to talk about, um, there's going to be a lot of videos and articles coming out about our reactions to the draft. Not really from me, because I'll leave that to people that actually pay close attention. I just wanted to more react to how I think the virtual draft went. Um, obviously, hopefully, this isn't going to be an annual thing or isn't going to have to happen again. But I think it actually went pretty well. Um, I know Roger Goodell uh, made that mistake where he gave away a pick, kind of. Um, but other than that, I think me and Nick had talked about on the live stream, which we did during the draft, that a lot of this stuff was kind of in place because if you think about it, um, the teams aren't really in whatever, wherever they're doing the draft. They're not there. They have to call in the pick, and Roger Goodell makes the announcement. I think it went pretty well. Um, I don't recall any technical issues. Um, the timing was a little off for certain things with the commercials. I don't know if anyone saw it, but um, oh, I shouldn't be blanking on this guy's name. But the Raiders coach, um, no, I'm not even going to talk about it. But there were a couple of technical issues here and there. But for it being a first-time thing, it went really well, I think. Um, we were watching on ESPN and ABC. I'm not sure if it was anywhere else, but... They did a pretty good job of covering everything. Um, it made it seem like a real normal draft. I liked the addition of having like some people cheering in the background where Roger Goodell was. Um, in terms of another positive, which is like, I don't know how much you're gonna take away from this, but Roger Goodell didn't have to hear booing every time. That could be a negative for people because they want to boo Roger Goodell. Um, in terms of the negatives, obviously the fan reaction wasn't there. We could see the people in the background of Roger Goodell thing but I don't think they really they were probably told to be excited I don't think there was any real like sad reactions or angry reactions in the background um social media had a bunch of those so that really worked in that case I just think the one negative really and the there was no real way to not have this to not have this be an issue but just the fan reactions wasn't there which I think is a big part of the NFL draft and makes it a much more exciting draft compared to the other NBA draft or well no the NBA draft there are fans like baseball draft the NBA draft and NFL draft do a good job but like in terms of like the MLB's draft that's pretty boring specifically because the players don't play for a bunch of years but I think all in all it was pretty 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 much a success can't say anything really bad and I hope it never has to happen again obviously um, that's it, though. Talk to you... What's today? Saturday. Do a podcast tomorrow. You guys know the drill. But that's it. Bye.